Hi, my name is Nigel Chambers. I'm from Bigger Belt Media. Tate and John's a pleasure to talk to you two today. And congratulations on the new series, Palm Royale, coming to Apple TV Plus March 20th. How are you two doing? We're doing Good. great, man. Thank I love you. your background. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And I love your series. And um, I definitely want to start off by 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 asking, and, and, and Tate, I, maybe this is a question more particular for you, but John can chime in if, if, if needed. I, I really want to know, with so many creative directors, and we're talking about uh, obviously Abe and, and Kelly and Cher and, and Stephanie Lee. Stephanie, how did you all work through this continuity between the storytelling throughout this season? Uh, at a point, I thought it was just only you and A for a moment, but realizing that there was others that was really brought to the table, just kind of wondering how did you all really work on that continuity in the storytelling throughout the season? Well, it starts with uh, teamwork and um, trust, and um, everybody was involved from the beginning for every aspect of it. I've only had this experience one other time, and it was on the help, and that's when a, a great, a great um, parent, Apple TV Plus, lets a bunch of creatives come together and just do their thing. And when that's allowed to happen, this is what you get. And um, yeah. we just all worked together. And we, we were all, it was so much joy, you couldn't wait to share with the other department what we had up our sleeve. So it was just, we were just playing. I mean, it was hard work. But yeah. um, there just was a playfulness to it and, 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 and the realization that costumes are very important. <laughs> Oh yeah, John Cena. Um, let the, us know the food, the, the production design, and it they because yeah. it in and itself, as you saw, was a was a was a main character. So yeah. we had to all talk about everything, and um, it yeah. just it just happened naturally, and we we were given the respect to just do it. Yeah, I fully agree. I had so much fun with this series, and. Uh, what's really uh, why I, I can't wait to really uh, be able to talk about this with, with the world once this release is that, yeah, with such a fun series, it does well, like such a powerful theme. And I want to, for you two here, you know, when you talk about a theme with outsiders fighting for their chance to truly belong, what exactly has that that theme meant to you all in terms of either your lives or your personal journey? We're doing it every day, aren't we? I know that's seeing, right. Seeing some greener grass, I did it this morning and had to remind myself that you're lucky to be standing on a piece of grass, so don't be looking for the other one. Um, it's just, it's just, it's just our human nature. It's just what we do, and it's really interesting you know, to see people that have so much, and they're still looking. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, did you want to add anything on that, John? Um, I. I couldn't agree more. Um, I think the show is reflective both in the characters and in the, in the production design of the strong dichotomy that exists today. Um, you know, social media, you know, and, and every echelon. Um, and I think that's a, there's a, that's a place for rich storytelling, uh, certainly self-reflection. Um, it is a lot of wish fulfillment and escapism, which I think is also really needed right now um and it 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 can sharp sharply a ask some questions um in a, in a really fun way uh, that helps us examine what it is that we want how we're going about getting it uh and, yeah. and the price we have to pay for it so all of that wrapped into into a beautiful show um i th i think uh makes for good tv let me get a last question in here really quickly. I know it's a little bit of a generic question, but it just kept changing for me over the season here. Is there any particular question, uh, question episode that holds a special shot, uh, spot for you, whether it's just, you know, what it took to bring the, the episode to life or some of the themes or some of the, just the moments within or is there any episodes that kind of jump out to you too? Well, for me, I was fortunate enough to get to direct the finale. Yeah. And as a director, <laughs> it was one of the most technically challenging uh, experiences of my career and I mean that in the best way as you know there is a lot going on <laughs> and uh, a lot of it takes place in one space yeah. um, and so it was really it was a growth for me to make that one space feel different as much as it could 
and uh, and that and John Carlos, my production designer, we 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 went from that. I'm like, we're going to be in this one space. Let's make it work. And um, and then of course Kristen's performance, after all she's gone through. Oh man, I mean, it gets it gets me emotional thinking about what her character went through. She got served a lot of S sandwiches, as we know, <laughs> and she deserved to let the wheels come off, man, and say what we all feel. And uh, I think it was just, it was really stunning to, for anybody watching someone who, anybody watching who feels like a Maxine, to get your moment to tell your truth. And um, it was just a, it was a real joy, and the writing was just fantastic. Abe and the guys just crushed it on the finale. Agreed, agreed. Well, thank you both for your time today. Again, Palm Royale will be releasing Apple TV March 20th. Uh, congratulations on this, and hopefully get to talk thank again you. soon. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Absolutely. I, 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 I,